Hello, I'm Hudson Benson. In this video, I'm gonna show you how to hook up a generic RGB controller that can be obtained on amazon.com for 12 volt DC uh, LED RGB lights. Um, this controller has multiple potential uses. Um, in this particular case, I'm gonna use it to replace a PAL lighting 12 volt uh, receiver driver for a pool light. This is a fairly expensive unit. Turns out what I'm going to do will be able to use the bulb that came with this driver and it was essentially just left right in the pool. Um, this driver failed um, pretty much within a year of being installed in a brand new pool. Ultimately, um, it started giving us problems and eventually burned up. Um, you can see the hole in the back of the case here. Uh, PAL Lighting has discontinued their 12 volt version. They're only offering a 24 volt version now. So if you go online and you try to buy one of these, you can't. Uh, if you take a look at this video, I may give you a solution that'll cost you about $45. Here we go. I've purchased a small pool light control converter from amazon.com. It's 150 volt and it works with 120 volt to 12 volt converter that can be used for RGB pool lights. I'm going to try and use it to replace the PAL PCR 2D35, which after one year failed. The converter that I have on the left hand side costs $45. The PAL um, light was included with a Latham Kingston pool that um, I had installed um, in the, the fall of 2021. So anyway, um, so this converter comes with no wiring diagram, and I'm sure if anybody else has purchased this converter, they're running into the same problem. So the converter comes with a 120 volt pigtail, which um, can then be used to either hot wire directly into your electric box. I have just a regular 120 volt switch in my box, so I'll probably uh, hot wire it to that. Um, but for now, I've just put a plug on the end of it. And the purpose of that is so that I can plug it in and, and test it because I ha have to try to figure out how it works. So I've now plugged in the uh, converter and it has an on off switch right here. If I click that on, you'll see the touchpad lights come on. Um, I haven't really studied how each of these buttons changes things. I'm really only interested in red, green, and blue right now for my wiring. Once I have the wiring done, then I can go ahead and figure out what some of this stuff does. But um, gradient most likely makes the light dim and brighten and uh, might even change the color over time. Brightness is going to be a dimmer, uh, probably changes the voltage, and speed is probably the speed of the gradient. Um, so in order to uh, go ahead and work on this unit, you have to take four screws out of each of the corners, and that allows you to open up the box. And so here we have the back side of the box, um, or the inside of the box. and so here is my 120 volt lead coming in that lead comes in with a brown wire which is the line wire which comes over here to the on off switch that i just turned on and the um, that's the feed and then uh, the other side of it is a black wire that comes over here to this terminal on the transformer this transformer is a is essentially just a 150 volt to 12 volt transformer. Um, it works also at 120 volts. Um, also coming in off the plug is a ground, which is this green and yellow wire, and then um, this bluish wire is gonna be the neutral wire. So that feeds into the transformer and then coming back out of the transformer, we have this black and white, which are essentially um, 
they have a potential of uh, just under 12 volts and they come over here and they feed the circuit board. So what I'm really looking for is um, how does this wire up to my, uh, to my bulb. And so what I've found <clears throat> is that this soldering pad right here is the common. And um, right now, if I flip this over, uh, it's on white. And so if I go ahead and make contact with my common and then touch each of these color terminals. You'll see that I have around 12 volts. I've determined that that's the red terminal here. This is the green terminal and that's feeding around 12 volts. And this is the blue terminal and that's feeding around 12 volts. So in this case, all three of the bulbs would be on and um, we'd have white light. And just to show how this works, I'll go ahead and switch it to red. And if I do the same thing, touch my common and then touch the red terminal. Once I have good contact, you'll see I have around 12 volts to red. I have zero volts to green and zero volts to blue. So that's how I've determined how to wire this. So I'll have to solder um, each of my bulb connections to uh, one of each of these terminals, my common red, green, blue. And what I'm going to do is put a short pigtail onto each of those and um, and then I'm going to wire nut my lights together. I believe I know which wire is which for the light, but that'll allow me to change that as necessary. There's four soldering joints that we needed to make in order to hook up the um, controller circuit board to the wires that are going to go out to the pool light. And for that, I use this Weller 9400 PKS soldering gun. It's 140 watts and uh, Weller says it'll heat up in about six seconds and I can confirm that it certainly heats up easily in six seconds. You kind of need that in order to get a good joint and uh, also not heat up the circuit board so much that you damage other components on the front side of the circuit board. So I'd recommend that you go out and get one of these or something similar to it if uh, you don't already have one. So now I have my common and my red, green, blue wires soldered in place, ready to be wire nutted to the lead that goes out to the pool light. So here I am out by the pool. I've got all the wire, wire netted together going down to the bulb in the pool and I'm ready to close up the box. So to finish things up, I've now mounted the smart pool light control converter that I got on amazon.com to the board near the pool. And there we go. We're looking at the pool light now. I've got it on ACC, which seems to cause it to change color. And uh, you can change the timing of that um, by moving, using the speed toggle switch. Mm -hmm. 